Reinventing gravity is about my quest for a modification of Newtonian and Einstein gravity. It traces the history of gravity from early times through the Greeks and uh, other civilizations and uh, traces the invention of gravity as we know it by Isaac Newton uh, as described in his uh, celebrated book, The Principia, published in 1687. And uh, one of the reasons for um, this quest for um, a new gravity theory, a reinvented gravity theory, is to do with the fact that uh, uh, we now know from astronomical, cosmological and astrophysical observations that in order to fit an extensive amount of data we need dark matter, uh, invisible matter. We need 96% of the matter in the universe to be invisible and uh, only 4% of the matter in the universe is made of visible matter such as protons and electrons which particles that we're made of. So this is not an acceptable situation as far as I'm concerned. So therefore I took upon myself to try to invent a new gravity theory which does away with the dark matter and uh, does fit all the data. It, the question is, can such a theory be developed and uh, that replaces Newtonian-Einstein gravity? And the answer is yes. And this the book describes in detail without equations, uh, in plain language, the, the quest for this gravity theory. And however, there are uh, end notes which are available for those who are more expert in the physics. And there's a glossary which contains uh, a detailed description of important physical concepts and words in the book. So, reinventing gravity uh, is, is a, a, a description of an odyssey, a quest for a paradigm shift. And if the theory withstands uh, the, uh, the uh, research of others in the field uh, and it stands up in time, then it will be a major paradigm shift in, in, in science. One, I can say one definite thing about the book Reinventing Gravity, that <coughs> if dark matter exists, and the, the dark matter particles are observed in the laboratory, and we know that it can fit the observational data, the extensive observational data in astronomy, astrophysics and cosmology, then Einstein's gravity theory, which contains Newton's gravity theory, will remain the paradigm. On the other hand, if the dark matter is not detected and it doesn't exist, and we only have visible matter in the form of protons and electrons, then Einstein gravity theory and Newtonian gravity theory have to be modified. This is a very definite statement. The purpose of my gravity theory is to replace Einstein and Newton gravitational theories in the event that the dark matter has not existed. And of course we know it has not been detected to date by a large laboratory experiments <coughs> and uh, so we are on the verge of a paradigm shift if the dark matter remains undetected. While in reinventing gravity, uh, the, the cosmology that comes from my MOG, Modified Gravity Theory, uh, has this smooth beginning at t time t equal to zero uh, 14 billion years ago and uh, by the way uh, this means that there was no big bang no ex kind of explosion at the beginning from some infinite uh, singular uh, density of matter um, so 
what happens as the universe expands in either negative time or positive time. And uh, we, of course, expand in positive time towards uh, our present universe, which we're living in. I'm standing in it right now. And uh, the, uh, one of the uh, consequences of the theory is that uh, one explains the fact that uh, we now know observationally that the universe, the expansion of the universe is accelerating. And uh, this is according to the latest observational data, although this is still a controversial question. So what happens after uh, our universe uh, as we know it in, in as the time increases and the universe keeps expanding. And, uh, well, the, there are many ways of uh, predicting the outcome of such universes. In particular, in the, in the both mirror universes, the time plus infinity and minus infinity, uh, we have that um, the universe is an endless universe and it just keeps expanding. And the question is whether the universe closes up on itself in either negative time or positive time as the universe expands, or well as well, or whether it just stays flat, Euclidean geometry, flat geometry, and uh, or whether it uh, is uh, an open universe, which are the three possibilities, open, flat, and closed. And uh, the answer is we don't know, because the, you can predict many possible uh, alternative ends to the universe, if you want to speak of it that way. But one thing uh, one does re recognize is the second law of thermodynamics. And the second law of thermodynamics says that the entropy of the universe keeps increasing. Now what that means is that the universe started for my cosmology at time t equal to zero with a minimum entropy in, in what's called an ordered universe. And as the entropy increases, as we expand towards minus infinity and plus infinity in time, uh, <coughs> the, the, the universe becomes more and more disordered until you get a completely maximum disorder. And all the matter gets diluted and we uh, will suffer what's called uh, a heat death. Uh, that there's no energy left there's no temperature, heat, and the universe is a cold, uninviting place. This is a rather grim prospect, but this is one of the possible predictions of the theory. <coughs>